So I got this new M1 MacBook Pro. I ordered it on release day, John, uh, or announcement day, I should say. Mm -hmm. And I opted, I chose the option on the right when you go to customize. I wanted a 14 inch uh, and you can choose the option on the left, which is an eight core GPU, eight core CPU, 14 core GPU, 16 gig, 512. That's where it starts. And the option on the right on Apple's site is the 10 core CPU. I thought, oh, I want to let's go with the 10 core CPU, which meant because I chose the right path, the the, the path on the right, not necessarily the correct path, uh, that I got the 16 core GPU. I didn't really care if I had the 14 core GPU or the 16 core GPU. I wanted the 10 core CPU. I could have, as per Allison's chart that we mentioned uh, just before I could have chosen the left path and upgraded only the CPU uh, to 10 cores, leaving the GPU on, on 14 cores and saved myself 200 bucks. I, I, I did not take that path. Quite frankly, I didn't know that path existed. So maybe you're right. Maybe we are in the performer days of choosing your, uh, your system <laughs> on a chip with the M one. Yep. It but is I fast. I, but for what I do, I cannot tell that it is, you know, twice as fast or more as my M1 Air previously. Any difference at all. It starts up super fast. It wakes up super fast. <laughs> it's it's just fast. How it about is, the fans? I have not been able to get the fans to turn on even when running Geekbench. You like so the screen on this. A, the screen is just gorgeous and B, it's bigger. But, but it has a notch. Um, as we mentioned in the last show, like the, the conceptually, the notch really doesn't bother me. I like the fact that we're making use of that previously unused space, right? Because we, we, you know, the space that the camera occupies was unused across the entire horizon of the right. screen. Right. And, and so now it just raises up. That would all be fine. If, the if the things that would spill over into where the notch was could be used, but in I, I am at a loss. The OS for words. doesn't understand it yet. It sort of understands it, but what it does is it punts, and by that I mean if you have menu bar items that move into where the notch would be, you don't get to see them it's ever. Thank no. goodness, bartender, they haven't done an update specifically for oh. They are working on notch supports. I literally just launched it and it says there's notch, notch support. So I don't know what that means um, because I haven't installed it yet and we're doing the show literally right now. Uh, but I did turn on an option in bartender at macbartender.com saying use bartender bar to show hidden items. And so instead of it showing me the hidden items in the menu bar, it drops down a separate bar to see them. So I can at least see all my overflow stuff if I manage things properly. So at least there's that. Uh, when I, I got it, I noticed two interesting things, John. The first was that it identified itself on my network as MBP 14 inch 2021. That was the DHCP client ID that it sent along when it grabbed its IP address for migration assistant to do its job uh, on the network. Mm -hmm. The other thing, which was a pleasant surprise, is that my air was on 12.0.1 um, because that's how you upgrade to Monterey. Even though I was in the beta cycle, I got off of the beta cycle and, and just did the normal upgrade. Uh, my MacBook Pro came with 12.0 on it, uh, hmm. which is interesting. And it allowed the migration assistant migration to happen. No Rosetta apps would launch until I did the update to 12.0.1. Don't know what that's about, but if anybody finds themselves in that same scenario, make sure you're on 1201 and, uh, and then I, I should say no Intel apps would launch, but it's a really nice machine. The keyboard is like butter. That may be the reason that I keep it, um, is, is that keyboard. Not that the M1 Air's keyboard is bad, but this is definitely nicer. Um, it's a little more spread out. Like I found myself initially, uh, typing the wrong letters because I was I, like was moving quickly like I would have on my air, but it's a wonderful machine, uh, obviously, and and it you know it, it's pretty and does all the things that it does, but it's and it's got all those ports you know which which I think mm -hmm. is great. 
I would love to have a USB A port on it. I know I'm not going to get one, but uh, if we're going to have ports, I, I would like USB A uh, because it's the thing that we all use the most when we're not using USB C. Like HDMI is good, but it's not. I get why they put it on here. It totally makes sense for the graphics pros and all that stuff. Like 100% understood. And I and for the same reason, I agree with the 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 SD card slot, like go talk to the photography folks. They want that. Great. But I would loved, I think we all would have loved a, uh, a USB-A port. 